this is called the race they found here and oh it's been a while since i've covered this dang game the game's development described by tts on June 22, 2021, Therovio posted a blog on their website and a tweet announcing that they would be remaking some highly desired delisted Angry Birds games, such as Angry Birds and Angry Birds Seasons, as a response to the infamous Hash Bring Back 2012 movement in the Angry Birds community in which fans wanted to see a return to form for the series and for the delisted older games to be put back up on app stores. Not many details were made clear about the project, and what games would get remade would remain unclear until on November 23rd, when Rovio posted their first dev diary, explaining that the company will remake the original Angry Birds in the first quarter of 2022, and opened a QM on Twitter, allowing fans to ask questions about the project with the Bring Back 2012 hashtag. On December 22nd, they posted another dev diary answering some of the questions fans sent on Twitter. Some of the questions that were answered revolved around the re-release being a separate application, progress not being transferable, character designs, what content will be in the game and possible future merchandise based on the classic designs like what was seen during 2019 with the Angry Birds Toy Factory plush toys I really wish the Mighty Mojo plushies would be in the UK. The third the diary would release on January 26th. 2022, revealing two screenshots of the remake, comparing them to the original version of the game The Fourth Dev Diary, released on March 2, 2022, retells the story of how Danger of 8 to 3 was initially proposed by a fan named Ethan, and confirmed that Mighty Eagle would reappear in the remake. On March 14, 2, Rovio employees started publicly releasing information about that game and through the Rovio Gaming Discord server. One of the roles in the server was titled Rovio Classics, Angry Birds. By the way, this all comes from the Angry Birds wiki so credit to them I suppose. Now, after that long segment, it's time to talk about the game itself. On March 31st, 2022, the game was released on EOS and Android and at the time was received pretty well. However, nowadays it's a lot more complicated and Now, first things first, come on, it's a remake of classic, of course it's gonna be good. I mean, it's the original game for Pete's sake. Another thing, hearing that title theme again felt so good. Oh. Another thing that I really like about Rovio Classic's Angry Birds, you can now zoom out without accidentally flinging a bird, thank God! And finally, I find, I find some of the glitches unironically funny. Not all of them, just some. The bad stuff. Remember the infamous, there are a few bugs here and there joke? Well, there are just a few bugs, but a lot of damn bugs! Ugh. Also, I know this is trying to be a lot more like the 2012 versions, but bring back Muddy Feathers and Short Fuse. Those were the best! Uh, and lastly, and this is very important, I just don't get why there are still ads, even though this is a premium game. Is it still worth it? Short answer is, maybe. Sorry I had to rush this video, I needed to get this out today, and I don't want to get it out tomorrow. So... Alright, that does it for episode 1 of Angry Birds Week. Tomorrow will be the first part of the 2 Far Angry Birds Go retrospective, where we will cover 1.0. Angry Birds Week will be daily uploads, so don't miss that. Anyways, this is Calva Racist Fan, reminding you, when there's smoke, they pinch back. Bye!